Hey, Kate, this is Chris Jenkins with Charlotte Vibe. Just wondering if you had the opportunity to introduce yourself to this fan base, how would you describe yourself as a player? How, what would that introduction be like if you could make it? Um, I would say that, you know, I play the game the right way. I'm going to come to work every day and, you know, I'm going to give the, give the organization everything I got. And, you know, I'm going to be a great, uh, great guy in the locker room. Um, and just, you know, I'm excited to get to know those guys and looking forward to it. Chris, you're on mute. I'm sorry. And how would you describe the way that you play the game? I'd say I play hard. You know, I, I, I look at it from a really, from a really uh, microscopic lens. I try to put together a really good game plan to go out and perform um, at a high level when I do play. And then, um, you know, I try to bring the guys along with me um, this past year on the O-line, just, you know, trying to get us to play as a unit and um, play together. Um, so just, you know, I play the game the right way. I play hard and I try to play it physical. All right, congratulations on being drafted. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right, Joe Person followed by David Nguyen. Okay, congrats. I'm with The Athletic here in town. Um, wanted to ask you where the Panthers have been telling you they kind of envision you playing. Um, haven't really had that conversation with them. I assume somewhere, uh, you know, I've played all five positions, so I'm assuming, you know, anywhere on the inside with the ability to play tackle. So, um, haven't really haven't had that conversation yet, but looking forward to it. Did I hear you to say you're kind of more of an inside guy first, but can play outside? Yes, sir. And then I wondered too if you had any connections to the organization, uh, players, coaches, staff, what what have you? Um, I don't have any. Uh, I don't think any of my uh, former teammates play at the Panthers. Um, I met with them at the combine, but uh, no former connections. How about to Charlotte? Um, I've never been to Charlotte. I'm really excited to, to see the city. I've heard it's beautiful. I've heard great things about it. So never been there, but I'm really excited to go. Appreciate it, kid. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, David Newton, ESPN.com. Congratulations. Uh, if you bring me some ribs from Calhoun's on the river, I'd be much appreciated. Yes, sir. <laughs> Um, I want to ask you too, how, how did a kid that you grew up in Knoxville, didn't you? Yes, sir. I grew up in Knoxville. And, and then you go to Georgia. That, that had, couldn't have sat over well with your family, did it? How did that work? And then you end up back in Tennessee. For sure. They, su they supported me, um, going to Georgia, you know, they were, they were going to, they were going to come to any game that I, anywhere I went, if I went to school in California, they would have been at the games. They would have supported anything that, um, that I wanted to do. But um, after my two years at Georgia, my little brother went to Tennessee, and ultimately it was my it was my best decision to come and play with him. We had a lifelong dream, you know, to play college football together, um, and being able to come back to Tennessee and do that with him was it was so special. And you said you didn't know hadn't had the conversation about where you will play. What do you feel like your best position is? Um, I feel like anywhere on the O line, anywhere where I can, you know, come in and come in and add to the value of um, of the team and. Wherever they need me, I'll be willing to play. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Now, I look forward to those ribs. Uh, Jason, go ahead, Jason. Uh, thanks. Hey, Kate, uh, Jason Brown, TV reporter, Spectrum News 1 here in Charlotte. Um, with you having experience at, at two different SEC schools, you know, we hear the national media talk about how competitive and how elite that conference is. Can you try and convey to us – just how elite the SEC actually is because you've lived it, like I said, at two different programs. For sure. I mean, every every day it's, you know, you're playing against – when I was at Georgia, I was playing every day against the number one pick of the draft this year. So, I mean, and and there was three dudes on that D-line that, that were drafted first round. So, every day of practice, you know, you're playing against the best competition. Um, it's the same way with in the games. Um, you're going to get a dude who's going to get drafted, you know, first round, top two rounds. All Americans. It's you know, there's not really a down week in the SEC. Every week you're you're getting a guy that's that's a really good player. So um, it's definitely elite. I would say it's the best conference in the, in the United States. And then, do you sort of feel that even though you were picked in a later round because you've had that competition, whether in practice or week in week out versus your opponent, that it really prepares you for what the NFL is going to be? Absolutely. I definitely think you know, playing in the SEC, I've seen seen some really good players and um, learned a lot of good things throughout my years in the SEC. Um, I think it prepares me well for the NFL, and, and I'm looking forward to it. Good luck to you, Cade. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, we'll finish up with Joe Person. Hey, Cade, uh, wondered if you had any back background with uh, Icky Aquanu, uh, who got picked here Thursday night. Yeah, it was, it was actually funny. Um, he was, we were sitting right next to each other, side by side on the plane to the combine. So it was a tight squeeze, but um, had a good conversation with him on the plane. He seems like a great dude. I know he's a heck of a football player, and, you know, I'm excited to, to bridge that relationship. Were y'all in coach? We were in that. We were on the exit row. We both had the genius idea that we were going to get some extra leg room, but we, you know, we we both thought too well and got stuck right next to each other. Where was the flight out of Charlotte, or where were you flying? Um, I flew out of Phoenix, and I think he was flying flying somewhere in California, and I think he connected in Phoenix, so we got we got thrown on the same flight. Did did y'all you know like? exchange numbers were you telling war stories what or were you mostly had your like uh earbuds on not doing much we talked a little bit at the at the beginning of the flight and then once the once the flight got taken off it was i think it was like a three-hour flight so we caught some we caught some z's in there but um seems like a really good dude i'm excited to excited to have some good conversations with him